I'm Dr. Riggs. I am kind of your instructor for this class. Actually, there's a young man named Jacob. He was actually in one of my classes several years ago. Uh, he's a great, he's an outstanding young man, and he will be actually your instructor for this course. We, we're just have as is typical, um, some administrative um, hassles uh, due to we're um, short on people, short on money. You know, it's, it's the same old story for everybody in, in government these days. Um, anyway, uh, so the uh, so what I was going to do was I was going to walk you through. I'm going to, this is what I look like. Here's my office. Welcome to these videos. I think I might even be skinnier and something because I was getting ready for my daughter's wedding, I think, when we were when we put this, it might have been right after her wedding or something, and and she wanted to dress uniform, bought actually, but the 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 ceremonial uh, dress blues for. I'm a retired Marine officer, twelve years on active duty and twelve years in the reserves. But um, and my daughter grew up in the Marines, so she wanted me to wear my. I'm getting off subject here, but anyway, I'm skinnier in the video <laughs> when I'm demonstrating them from physics and. Um, I am going to uh, go ahead and, and turn me off up here, and then I'm going to walk you through this uh, first lab, um, the, the, the actual uh, uh, Blackboard web page for it, okay? So you're going to come on, and you're going to go to, this is the course content, and I'm going to turn all this off, all this um, uh, stuff here that for the instructor. So, so you're going to come down, you're going to go to course content, and here you are, and here is your backyard physics lab. So you'll click on this, and what that'll do is that will take you to a file, um, and when you open that file, is what happens, you'll see these intro to lesson one. There's an intro, you'll probably get another intro from me. Um, they'll go through the syllabus, which I think think I, I hope I've put on there I think I have uh, intro intro to misconceptions of free fall misconceptions of free fall free fall on the moon acceleration and free fall calculation so you're gonna gonna get a thing on free fall now what you're doing well you'll see what what you're going to be doing in the um, in in the this intro here okay I just wanted the purpose of this is just to kind of guide you through um, those things so Here's your free fall slide. So you click on here and you can, you can, I suggest you click on these while you're going through those video lessons, that, those YouTube lessons. And here's a web for your statistical calculator. This will be your most mathematically challenging and, and, and probably the more, uh, more moving parts lab. I mean, it's, it's pretty detailed and, and I think it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty big undertaking, all right? Not that big, but you, we're going to do four labs this semester, all right? We're going to do four, um, but each one comes with a pre-lab and then um, and then a, 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 each one comes with a pre-lab and then you actually do the lab. So here's the pre-lab lecture for solving this little guy. Now, this guy right here, when you turn him on, and you click him on, you're going to get a lecture and the notes that go with, with this lecture. So you can open up both those pages if you want. You can kind of follow along with what I'm doing. And then you click on the pre-lab. And when you click on the pre-lab, here it comes. And it, and it says, you've got till January 24th, 11.59 p.m. to finish this. So you click on continue. And it says, what is the definition of acceleration? Okay. Change the distance over change time, change of velocity over the change in or speed change in time. Yeah, that's it. So there you go. You got one question answered. And then you go through and you answer all those questions. You hit save and submit. And that then that's your pre-lab grade. So you'll have a pre-lab grade and you'll have a lab grade. All right. I don't think I've put your syllabus on there yet. I need to do that. All right. And then, um, but I can go ahead and get this. So I'm going to leave this page. All right. And then when you get the pre-lab done, you'll come here and you'll click on the lab files. This is how you do your lab. All right. It's telling me, hey, you started the exam. You didn't finish it. Or the little pre-lab uh, uh, thing. And then the, the um, write-up worksheet. Here's the scoring guide for it. Uh, how, to, how to do the lab. 
which is basically you're going to be dropping a ruler and catching it, or somebody else will be, you'll drop a ruler and somebody else will catch it, and you'll measure the distance that it traveled before they caught it, and you'll calculate the time, their reaction time is basically what you're doing. And then there's the write-up worksheet for it. You click on there, fill it in, and then submit it here. Not too hard. Do I have a syllabus for you guys here? I don't see. Oh, syllabus would change one. Do we have a syllabus there? Aha! I need to fix this. I need to take these off because this is from last semester. Okay, so let me fix this and we'll be done. And then um, we're ready to go.